Alrighty guys, welcome to your ninth Ruby tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk a little bit more about objects. I know you guys are getting sick of me talking about objects, but I want to mention something that is kind of different than other programming languages. In Ruby, almost everything is an object. Now we already saw that we can create classes and from our classes we can create objects and we can use those objects to access the attributes and methods and all that good stuff. But did you know that Ruby already has some classes and methods already built into it before we even create anything? So let me go ahead and show you guys an example. Go ahead and type in a math ground like 12 plus 56. Hit enter, it gives us the answer 68. Okay, our computer is not broken. Now, what you're seeing is two numbers being added together. Okay, simple enough. But did you know that these numbers are actually objects in Ruby? pretty mind-blowing huh so remember I said that every object has to come from a class well these objects are already built in to a class that already came with Ruby and this class is called fix num and you know how I said that objects have a couple things they have attributes and they have methods well the plus sign right here is actually a method instead of printing stuff out on the screen like we did in this method right here which is what was it called talk the job of this method is to add two numbers together now here's the cool thing to find out what class an object belongs to you can use the dot class method so you know how up here we created a class called Bucky and we created an object BO so say we were programming and it was a couple minutes later and we had that BO object and we forgot what class it belonged to well, in order to find out what class this object came from, just go ahead and write the name of your object, dot class, and go ahead and hit enter. And it says Bucky. It's pretty much saying, okay, the class that BO belongs to is the class Bucky. So now we can go ahead and use this technique to figure out what class the numbers came from. So type any random number like 36 and type dot class. Now whenever you run the dot class method, it's going to tell us what class this number came from. And then we go ahead and hit enter and it says fix num. And you're scrolling up, you says fix num, where the heck did I make that? Well actually fix num is a built in class that came with Ruby already. So like I said, there's already some built in classes and built in methods that came with Ruby. And these methods include adding numbers together, simple math, and some other things as well. Now on the topic of built-in classes and built-in methods, I guess I might as well talk to you guys about something called kernel methods. Now kernel methods are commonly used methods, and again, these are ones that are already built into Ruby, so you know don't look for a class called kernel or something. Kernel methods are commonly used methods that any class can use. One example of this is puts. Now puts is a method that we didn't write ourselves, but we get it whenever we download Ruby. Now, in order to write this method, we don't actually have to write the class and then the dot and then the method like we did whenever we actually wrote our own methods. So we don't have to do anything like ruby.puts or um, kernel.puts, although we can actually write it like this. So just remember this. Whenever we have these kernel methods, we can just go ahead and write the method name and we don't have to um, write an object name before it. But <laughs> I know that can get kind of confusing that some methods you can just write alone and other methods that you create you have to write the object and then a dot and then the method name. But even though that's confusing, I want to mention this before I let you guys go in this tutorial. With kernel methods, you can just go ahead and write something like the name of the method, which is puts, and some other information like I am text on the screen, and it runs it. Or you can actually write kernel if you want, and then use a dot separator. So in this case, with kernel methods, the dot separator is optional. So kernel puts, you can also have something like this is also optional, but unnecessary and I think I spelled that wrong yep I did so again with kernel methods basically they're methods that are already built in in any class can use them now with kernel methods you can just use the method name like puts like that or you can use the full kernel dot puts 
So I know that can get kind of confusing, but I just want to mention that because if I just skip over it, then a bunch of people are going to, you know, send me hate mail and yell at me. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you understand the fact that pretty much everything in Ruby is an object, even numbers. And you also understand something called kernel methods, which are basically built-in methods that we can use. And you can use the optional kernel if you want to, but it's really unnecessary. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.